Well, hello there. My name is John Dobbs. I'm one of the ministers of the Forsyth Church of Christ, and we're here with an encouraging word. I was thinking about Corrie ten Boom. She was a Dutch watchmaker and later a Christian writer and public speaker who worked with her father and her sister and other family members. And they helped many Jewish people escape the Nazis during the Holocaust in World War II by hiding them in their home. They were caught. She was sent to a concentration camp. Her most famous book, The Hiding Place, is a biography that recounts the story of her family's efforts to and how she found and, and shared hope in God while she was imprisoned at that concentration camp. I was find I found an interesting quote that, that she wrote. And Corey Ten Boom once wrote that human love fails and will always fail, but God's love never fails. You know, in all the great love stories of the world, there's one common thread human love fails. I mean, just think about the Bible stories we know about how Eve tempted Adam, Delilah deceived Samson, Rebecca lied to Isaac, on and on we could go. We could look at all the great romances that we know about in the movies and novels and even the loves in our own lives, because the problem is all humans are imperfect. And so no matter how strong the feeling and the commitment is, um, in some ways, there's imperfection and failure in love. But God's love never fails. He's not a human being. He's perfect. He's all-knowing. In fact, God knows everything about you. He knows what you think. He knows all about your life. He knows all about your regrets, your mistakes, your troubles, your struggles. He knows what's happening in your world right now. And he still loves you with a perfect love. Even when you fail him, and we all fail him, his love never fails. And in his power and perfection, he knows how to love us. And I think that reminds me of one of the best known verses in the entire Bible. John 3 and verse 16. It says, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. You are loved, and you have been loved your whole life with a perfect love, a love that isn't measured by your past decisions or the regrets of your life or the hurts that you've endured, the things that you've struggled through. And while we do appreciate every loving relationship that we enjoy and that we have, there's one relationship that's above all, and that's our relationship with God, who is perfect, and I want to encourage you today to remember how well you are loved and the blessing of eternal life that comes for those who believe in that love. And the Bible says, encourage one another and build each other up. And we hope this has been an encouraging word for you this evening.